2006 Toyota Tundra. Shop here. It says uh, the customer complaint is the check engine light's on. They scanned it for codes. It came up with oxygen sensor codes for the two downstream sensors. They replaced the sensors. The codes are still there. So now it's our job to figure out why. Let's get into it. Let's see what's wrong with this Toyota. All right, hopped right into OBD2 mode. We're going to keep it simple. Pending and current codes, P0138, P0158. So circuit high, voltage, bank 1, sensor 2, and bank 2, sensor 2. Interesting. Let's get right into live data. And I'm going to select the data PIDs, and we'll start it up cold and see if the oxygen sensor is what the voltages are. All right, here we go. So... On this model, the upstream sensors are wideband air fuel ratio sensors. We have lambda, long term trims, short term trims, and these two voltages right here bank one sensor two, bank two sensor two. Let's fire it up. Okay, looks like the upstreams are starting to respond. They are showing lean. We'll let it warm up a little bit here and see if it goes in the closed loop. All right, so it just went in the closed loop. You can see the short terms are now correcting. Lambda's right around one. We have to drive it to see what's happening with these downstream sensors. All right, a little bit later, so we're still idle. Bank one sensor two is starting to wake up. Bank two sensor two is just starting to wake up. I'm gonna raise the RPMs a little bit. Let's take it for a spin. All right, so the within half a mile, downstream sensors woke up and they are definitely reading very high 0.9 peg high lambdas are reading right around one so let's uh, do a couple accelerations and fuel cuts see if we can force these downstreams lean so we want to do some engine braking Alright, downshifted in the third gear, downshifted in the second gear. I want to see zeros. Yep, so fuel cut does work. You see 1.2 equivalence ratio, that's good. And do they jump right back up to their high state? They the bank one sensor two did. Bank two sensor two. It's pretty close, yep. Okay, interesting. Alright, so just from scan data here, what's not adding up? Why is Bank 1 adding 18% fuel on the long term? Bank 2 is adding about 8%. The downstream say we're running rich all the time, especially Bank 1, which is adding 18% fuel, but the air fuel ratio sensors seem to be happy right right around one and the downstream sensors are brand new so if you add all of the pieces of the puzzle together this data says to me that the upstream sensors are skewed they are old aged or I don't know if they've been replaced before maybe they're not OEM so they're working somewhat the truck drives fine but it's running rich just because the upstream sensors are skewed. Bank one is worse. Bank two is still a little skewed. 
Um, so that's my diagnosis. Replace the upstreams with Denso, you know, OEM equivalent air fuel ratio sensors. So once the shop does that, we'll uh, do a follow up. They'll clear the codes and look at the fuel trims and let me know uh, exactly, you know, how that went. I probably won't be here for the repair. So this, we don't need to do any circuit checks. The sensors operate fine. They have the heat up. They read, but the data is not, you know, the computer is not happy with that data. So the upstream sensors are um, misreporting just based on the data. Um, so yeah, we'll do a follow-up once the shop gets two upstream sensors installed in this truck.